the heading as we made it was reflections of functions, but this is not the only kind of reflection we can do. So here comes number three. Now I'm so confident that we can do this uh, quickly, we're going to do it together. If instead of the minus sign being inside, attaching to the x, right? If it were on the outside, what would happen? Well, let's have a go at this, right? It's the same f of x we began with. So I'm going to write minus, and then here comes the entire function, right? It's going to be x squared plus 5x plus 6. Okay? Now, we've already factorized this, right? What's the factorization of that thing on the inside? Uh, x plus 2x plus, plus 3. So what does this factorization tell you? What did it tell us before? Why did we factorize? Why do we ever factorize? It's so we can find the, Matt? The x-intercepts, right? What are the x-intercepts? Uh, <laughs> negative 2, negative 3. Now, hold on. That's, um, oh, I need a, you need one of these as well. You need a horizontal axis. So negative 2, negative 3, they were just like, the very first graph we did this morning, right? So let's go ahead. Can you put this on with me? One, two, three, roughly. Okay. So you've got the factorization. Okay. But see, when we next looked at what to do, we thought, oh, I've got x-intercepts. I should find the y-intercept. What's the y-intercept this time? Mm, now, you're like, oh, there's the 6, but there is a minus sign out the front of the whole thing. So it's actually negative 6, isn't it? So instead of being up here, I'm actually all the way down here. Okay, now, don't work it out. Have a think for me, right? What is your axis of symmetry going to be? How different will it be to previously? It's going to be the same, right? It's still between the intercepts. The intercepts are still negative 2 and negative 3, so it's still between there. But the y coordinate of the vertex is going to change. Do you see this? When you put in that negative 2.5 into here, yeah, you're going to get negative a quarter in here, but there's a negative out the front as well, right? So you're going to get this guy up the top. That's positive a quarter. Are you okay with that? Well. Say that again. Yeah, that's, there's my negative 6 right down there. So let's go ahead. Let's draw this graph now. Okay, you ready to actually construct this? <laughs> there we go. Use your imagination. Okay, now. We did this much faster than the others because I think we're starting to get, oh, I'm familiar with these things. How would you describe this graph in relation to the very first one that you drew? Again, it's a reflection, but it's a different kind. It's not the Gary, end. Gary, what are you thinking? Shh. Okay, now, we can think about symmetries here, right? Now, this particular function actually does not have any symmetry itself. Right? If I reflect it that way or this way, I'd get a different function. But it is related to the original ones. Right? What do you see? See how it, um, it's minus f of x, not minus, no, f of minus x. Right. So the whole thing is minus, I think? Yeah, that's right. That minus sign attaches to the whole thing. And therefore, it would okay. be, it would be f of whole thing. Yeah. Right, okay. So here's a way we can think about this, right? See this guy here? This is a, hold your thought, Rassin. I'll come to you in a minute. See how this is a, fl a reflection across the y-axis? Right? So in other words, it's changed horizontally. We shouldn't have been surprised by that because the minus sign is attached to an x. The x is the horizontal axis, right? So you put a minus sign on x, you flip horizontally, okay? But this time here, that minus sign, it's not actually attached to the x. Maybe if you can write this with me, it might be handy if you write this in a different color because I want to highlight it for you, right? See this minus sign, it's actually attached not to the x, but to the y. Do you see that? Like I've multiplied both sides by negative 1. Where's the minus sign? It's here on the y. The y is a vertical thing, right? So this is not a horizontal flip. This is a? It's a vertical flip. It used to be concave up. Now it's concave down. Okay? So we can uh, summarize this just like we did before, right? Let me get rid of this. y equals, here we go, y equals negative f of x, right? It's also a reflection. But because it's a, it's a vertical reflection, right? Which axis is it reflecting across? Not the y-axis, it's the x-axis. Across the x-axis of whatever we started with, f of x. Okay? Now, I'm not even going to write this on the board. I'm going to ask you to do one last one. We did, uh, it's just this particular whiteboard. We did f of negative x. We did negative f of x. The last one I want you to do is, to pop both negatives on. If you had a negative inside there 
and also a negative outside. So this is what I'm asking you to draw. Okay. Can I ask you to draw this last one? Okay. Um, fit it onto a final set of axes, and then I'm going to come around and call me over when you've um, finished, and I'll see if you've got the right track.